everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me for a new tutorial. I'm going to be bringing you some inspiration using the brand new November 2020 card kit from Simon Says Stamp, and this is Big Autumn Thanks. I'm going to be using products from the kit to create two slimline scene cards. The kit has some gorgeous pattern papers in it, and I wanted to focus on those today. I recently shared another card tutorial using another Simon Says Stamp card kit, which was the October kit, and I showed you how to make beautiful backgrounds with the pattern papers. Today we're going to create a scene using the papers. The kit contains the P13 Four Seasons Autumn Set. This paper pack is beautiful and has really detailed elements on some of the corners of the pattern papers. I thought this would be awesome to use as elements for creating a scene. So I am using my fussy cut scissors to cut the elements out. As I'm cutting, I'm making sure to rotate the paper to get in between all the little nooks and crannies because like I said, these images are very delicate. So you wanna be careful as you're cutting so you don't accidentally cut off any of the little twigs that are hanging down from the little floral branches. I used some watercolor paper and a couple of Prima watercolor confections paints to paint a very loose watercolor background. I just basically added a little blue at the top and a little bit of green at the bottom, a few splatters, and this will be a perfect background behind these very detailed florals. The floral elements with the sunflower have an adorable little banner that I thought would be fun to stamp the word love onto. This love sentiment is from the Big Autumn Thanks stamp set and I'm using some Distress Oxide ink to stamp each individual letter from the sentiment onto that banner. I think that really finishes the banner off and complements the whole entire style of these floral bits. Next, I'm attaching my floral elements onto my panel, and I'm going to use, again, that same Distress Oxide ink to stamp another sentiment from the Big Autumn Thanks set along the corner of my card. This sentiment is going to also complement a secondary sentiment that I'll add underneath. But this one I plan to emboss with gold embossing powder. This one's slightly larger and I thought would look really pretty on top of some schoolhouse red cardstock. So I'm stamping that down with some embossing ink and I'll use my antique gold embossing powder to sprinkle that over the sentiment. Once I've gone ahead and heat set the sentiment, I'll then take my fussy cut scissors and again cut this out also. This is going to pop up underneath the smaller sentiment that we had stamped directly down onto our card panel. Because I attached the floral elements down with one layer of foam tape, I chose two layers for the sentiment to help give it a little bit of relief off of the floral elements. I made a slimline card panel from some cream cardstock and I'll use some tape runner to attach that down. I made two cards in the exact same way but both feature two different corner elements to make these cards. I think these are a really fun way to use the pattern papers in this kit and allows you to create some additional cards that you don't actually have to color. These pattern papers are so detailed and beautiful, it takes care of all the coloring for you and makes the card process really quick and easy. I hope that you enjoyed today's card project using the November 2020 card kit from Simon Says Stamp and if you're interested in getting the kit yourself, I do have links to the kit down in the video description or over on my blog. If you'd like to see the other card kit project that I made using pattern paper, I also have that linked too. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll be back soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful day. Bye.